Hello, I'm Nathan from the ebook reader blog. So I just posted a review of the Pocketbook Inkpad Color 2. It's on the left here. It's got a 7.8 inch color ink screen. Uh, it's one of the few devices that has a color ink screen. And I got to thinking, uh, it's kind of surprising Amazon hasn't gotten on board with these color ink screens yet. I think some people would be interested in a color Kindle for comics and stuff like that. Color Ink does have some drawbacks, which I'll show a little bit here, but um, I mean, it still has some obvious benefits when it comes to, you know, showing color content, eBooks, and uh, even PDFs, or you're browsing your eBook library, you got the color covers, but um, Kindles, you know, they have a little bit better performance than the Pocketbooks, they have some more features, um, but yeah, so the Pocketbook with their second gen ink pad color, it improves the color ink screen over the first gen model, and like every time a color ink screen comes out, it does get better. Uh, than the previous version. So, I mean, they've been getting better over the years. Uh, one thing where color ink, uh, when it comes to regular text, it's not on the same level as black and white ink. I mean, it's good, but it's not as good as you can see here. Like you get a darker look on the ink with a uh, regular black and white uh, e-reader like the Kindle Paperwhite 5 here. Um, and then the Kindle software also offers some boldness adjustments, so it kind of helps with that. Pocketbook software doesn't have any kind of boldness slider. You can just go full bold, which is like really way too bold. It's super dark. Um, but yeah, so like the Kindle, like you do have some better uh, font adjustment options. And then, um, like I said, with the color ink, it's not quite as, you have this like filter layer that goes over the front of the ink screen. So it kind of degra degrades the clarity of the screen just a little bit and makes it appear a bit darker. So color ink can't really replace regular ink when it comes to that. But I think it's gotten good enough that I think some people uh, would take this you know, slightly less dark text. It's just a little bit less clear than regular ink in exchange for color ink. So, I mean, it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on it. Like Kindles do have some performance advantages over pocketbooks. They're more affordable in general, just like adding highlights is a smoother experience. A little bit clunky on the uh, on the uh, pocketbook ink pad color too here. It's kind of a little bit janky to get the uh, thing to adjust to the exact spot you want it to sometimes so i mean kindles do have some advantages it'd be interesting to see amazon release a color ink kindle like what if they released a color paper white um and it's like 50 dollars more than the regular paper white i wonder how many people would be interested in that Pocketbooks are good alternatives to Kindles, but I mean, a lot of people are already entrenched in the Kindle ecosystem. Uh, Pocketbooks don't support Kindle ebooks, obviously. They do have some advantages, though, like they have text to speech. Boatman, but now the room was empty. Most of the lights extinguished. Perhaps there was something to be said for midnight meetings after all, Marsh reflected. At least he would have to suffer no condolences. The voice is actually pretty good. As, uh, Kindles do have that voice view feature. It's not real text to speak, so it's a little more difficult to use. But I mean, Pocketbooks have some other advantages as well. You can like view your library as folders and support EPUBs. Uh, they also have Dropbox, Dropbox support to transfer books wirelessly. Uh, and they have some games and stuff and some different apps installed. So, I mean, it just sort of comes down to your personal preferences as far as devices go. But it would be interesting to see if Amazon would release a Kindle with a color eating screen, how popular it would be. I think some people would be interested in it just for, you know, color content. I mean, the text isn't quite as clear. It's not quite as dark. But, um, you know, you definitely have some advantages with other things. And like I was saying with a pocketbook, you have some games in here. You have like a calculator, uh, music player. So they have a lot of stuff that Kindles don't have. They are quite a bit more expensive. Like this is $329 where the Paperwhite is what? It's $139 uh, for the ad supported model. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it just uh, comes down to your own personal preferences, what you want to read with. But, yeah, when it comes to color content, obviously the ink pad color is miles ahead of the paper white. Uh, the paper white still has like better performance in some ways, like the page turns are smoother. But um, and then the dark mode, they both have dark mode as well. If you wanted to invert the colors uh, to have the white text with the black background, they both do that as well. So, um and then they both have the front light with the adjustable color temperature. So there's a lot of crossover features between the two devices. They're both waterproof as well. Um, but obviously the pocketbook is not very well known in the U.S. It does have the buttons, which is kind of cool. Amazon's gotten rid of all their button models except for the Oasis, which was released many years ago now. It looks like it's going to be discontinued because they never released a new model. But... Color Ink keeps getting better each year with each new version. There's even a newer version than the one that's shown here, like the Kaleido 3 screens. Like on Onyx's devices, they have a clearer look to them. The text is clear because it has higher resolution with the color um, and it's just a little bit nicer than these ones as well. So, I mean, they keep getting better. At, one po at what point, you got to wonder, is Amazon going to 
jump on the color e ink bandwagon and offer a color Kindle, a color paperwhite, I think would be pretty popular. I mean, obviously, when it comes to reading just regular ebooks, the black and white screen is going to have a better look to it, but like stuff like comics and PDFs, even, um, it does have some advantages having color and just being able to navigate your library, having all the color covers in there and stuff like that. So, I know some people would like it. Be interesting to know, like, uh, how many people would actually be interested in buying a color Kindle, even though the color ink has some drawbacks when it comes to, you know, regular black and white text and when the front light's off. So here's a quick look at the front light turned off on both of these. So the color screens, they have a darker look to them. Um, but if you turn up the front light, it gets closer to the look of the color of just a regular Kindle. So obviously the battery life's going to take a bit of a hit if you're having the front light cranked up more uh, just to get the background lighter in appearance not so dark looking but i mean some people don't mind having their front lights cranked up some people don't mind having a little bit less contrast with the um, front light off or with the you know darker screen on the color ink and some people would just rather have the color so i don't know it'd be interesting to know uh see if how many people would be interested in the color kindle if amazon released when they always take forever to like release new stuff though like they just got on the e-note bandwagon last year when they released the kindle scribe and other companies have been releasing similar devices for the past five years so amazon's never quick to make changes but i think there comes a point where they'll actually come out with a color kindle here some point in the future maybe a couple years down the line because obviously color does have some advantages but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video check out the ebook reader blog for more reviews and take a closer look at some of the other color ink devices thanks for watching bye